experts say there's a crisis, crisis when it comes to black fathers in this country. The absent black father myth is the idea, the stereotypical and incorrect notion that African American fathers have very little contact with their children, if any contact at all. Doctor suit today on oh yeah oh yeah got on work. the weekend oh yeah. morning what's going yeah, on now with you though man you know mm-hmm. things are just things you know oh, boy. Need, to, need, need to talk about a few things yeah okay yeah. Need to talk to you you know yeah, that's what I'm here for yeah man so look man it's just just kind of things been bothering me it's been on my mind for a minute yeah um, and uh, who better to call than my doc you know yeah. what I'm saying yeah uh, yeah so my son man. Just certain things um, bothered me where I was in a position where I was, my fin- finances was real ugly, real, right. real ugly. Mm-hmm. And I was trying to figure out a way how I was just going to take care of myself. Um, I didn't have the privileges of, you know, having money to go to school and make my choices better. Right. I just had to kind of grow, kind of go with the flow of things. And I had to drive trucks and stuff like that. But during that time, I had been missing him like crazy. Wow. And um, it just, it, you know, it was just crazy. I broke down several times, crying, just crying, and just not wondering what I was doing, if I made the right choice. No support from nobody. So how did, how did that make you feel? Though? It hurt. It hurt me to my core because, like, as a little kid, you, don't, you know, you don't understand why daddy's not around or he's gone or whatever. He's, he's, he's too young to understand those things. Yeah, yeah. So it hurt. Um, you don't have the support mm-hmm. system to back back you up. It's just you on your own, just dealing with all this. How was your relationship with your mother? My mother? Yeah, like like how was your relationship, you know, growing up, or how is it? So how was your relationship with your your mother? Wow, my mother. <laughs> uh, let me tell you, hmm. um, strong woman, 
got you. Raised two kids on welfare in the projects. Wow. Drug infested, crime infested neighborhoods. And uh, she helped get us up out of there. Uh, I love her and miss her to this day. And we'll always uh, love her and miss her for the things that she gave and sacrificed uh, for, for my life so I can have a better life. Um, the only thing I think I wish is that my son would have had a chance to meet her and be around her and get that knowledge of life knowledge that she gave me and my brother. Um, it's priceless. You can't even put a price on it. Um, she's awesome. And she will continue and always will be awesome mm -hmm. in my life. Um, the thing about it is she did it by herself. Yeah. Kind of. Um, I had a big help from my grandfather. Got you. Who played that father role. Wow. Oh, okay. Got huge, you. huge help. My grandfather, if it wasn't for him, I don't know where I would be. Uh, but with him, him and my and my mother, that helped me and my brother. You know. Oh, so let me ask you this, though. Mm. Did you miss your father not being around? <sighs> my father. Wow. Yeah. Um, absolutely. I missed him not being there. The one thing that I always did not understand about my father is hmm. I understand about you not being you know the relationship didn't work between you and my mom I get that but to just up and abandon and leave us Got you. you know maybe if she would have had your help maybe she would never been on drugs Got you. if she would have had your help we wouldn't have to move out to California and you just abandoning two kids wow. is, is is crazy to me. It's it's just like, dude, what what type of dude are you? Yeah. You know. Uh, so let me ask you this. Um, yes. Is, is your son here? Yes, my son is here. And. Uh, okay. Yeah. You might as well just go ahead and bring him on in now. And let, yeah. me, let me get to talk to you him. You want to talk to him a little bit? Yeah. yeah. All right. I want right, to get to the bottom of this, what's going on. We can figure it we out. We can figure it out. Yeah. All right, cool. Cool, right. cool. What's up, man? What's up? Everything good? Okay, good, good. All right, man. It's me, uh, my, my friend right here, Dr. Young. What's going on with you? Good. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. All right, and he just going to sit with you for a minute. Just going to talk, man. Just have wow. a regular conversation, all right? I'm going to be outside, and y'all do y'all thing. All right, man. Okay, All right, man. I'll see you. Cool. All right. All right, man. You just go ahead and grab a seat. I got to ask you a couple of things, you know. Hey, so how are you doing now, Jaden? I'm real good. I'm, I'm good. Okay, so today I'm just going to ask you a few little few little questions. Um, You know, a lot of kids like African-American, you know, mm -hmm. our complexion, we tend to have absentee fathers. Now, in your case, how do you feel that your, your dad is in your life? How does that... How does that make you feel to have your father in your life? Um, it makes me feel real special, you know, because I know a lot of kids don't have their fathers in their lives, so I'm like real blessed, gifted. Got you. So how, how do you think that will impact you moving forward when you become a parent, that you've had your father in your life? How will that affect your kids? How will that impact for you? Um, he's really just giving me like a handbook, you know, just a, being that, that role really just help me for my kids in the future so if like when I have those kids it's just especially you know just there you know the, the, the really importance of being there got you oh man awesome well done young man I'm um, well very nice to meet you Jaden what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna finish up with your your dad you know and we'll talk nice talking to you man thank you you can get your dad for me mm -hmm. all right cool yeah man Man, I did a little right. talk with your, your son, you know? 
get a little trying talk. to get some more information. Mm-hmm. That way I could know. Yeah. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna try a different approach to this. Okay. Okay, so I want you to just relax yourself. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Relax, lay back if you have to. And just, just focus on what I'm about to tell you. Right. Just relax your entire body, get you, relax your neck, your shoulders. Feel like your feet, your feet is floating. Breathe slowly. Relax, and all I want you to concentrate on is the sound of my voice. The sound of my voice. Listen to the sound of my voice. I want you to take a deep breath in. I see the crystal raindrops fall And the beauty of it all Is when the sun comes shining through To make those rainbows in my mind When I think of you sometimes I want to spend some time with you Just the two of us We can make it if we try just the two of us Just the two of us Just the two of us Building castles in the sky Just the two of us 